All right, so let's start with a standing position. Feet hip width apart. I want you to pull your tummy muscles in and just rest your arms down by your side. You're gonna take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you to take your chin to your chest, bend your knees, scooping the tummy in and just rounding forward. So just giving your back a nice stretch, letting the head hang down there. And then you're gonna inhale and as you exhale, you're gonna unroll that spine and come back up. Good, and again, deep breath in. Breathing out into the chest, bending the knees, flexing forward, down towards the floor, inhale, and exhale, coming all the way up. Let's do one more deep breath in, exhale into the chest, flexing forward, coming all the way down, and inhale there. Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and come all the way up. Now I'm just going to go sideways so you can see what we're doing next. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down. But this time we're going to activate the back of the body. So what I want you to do is reach your arms out, all the way out. Start to extend your spine and imagine you're sitting back in a chair. Then push up through the legs. That's it. Take the arms out to the side and down. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Breathing out, chin to the chest. Bending the knees. Rolling down. Now let's raise the arms. Raise the hands, reaching out. Lift those arms as far as you can. Push up through those legs and arms out to the side and down. Let's do one more deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest and rolling down. Touching the floor if you can. Now let's raise those arms, reach them forward, sitting back as far as you can there and then lifting all the way up and arms out to the side. Okay, so we're going to step towards the back of the mat now. Taking a breath in, we're going to breathe out, chin to the chest, rolling back down. And this time we're going to place the hands on the floor. Okay, and we're going to take a weight into our upper body. So you're going to walk those arms forward, walking forward, but keeping the knees bent and bringing the knees down. Oh, I just dropped my copy. Bringing the knees down, I should leave it there, onto the floor. Okay, now keep your toes tucked under. Going to do a little bit of work for the core here. So you're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to float your knees off the floor and inhale to lower down. So we're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Lift and lower. All right, so pull the tummy in as you lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. For three, two, one, and relax those feet into a cat stretch. So take a breath in, exhale, pull the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under, and let the head come down. So it's like a cat stretching, really trying to stretch out that spine. Inhale, and then exhale, going back the other way. Deep breath in. Exhale to tuck under. Inhale. And exhale back the other way. One more time. Exhale, tucking under. That's it. Inhale. And exhale back the other way. Now we're going to make it a little more challenging. We're going to tuck those toes back under. We're going to float those knees just off the floor and try and do your cat stretch here. So take a breath in, exhale, draw the tummy in, tucking under, keeping those knees off the floor if you can, and then inhale and exhale to go back. Just three, deep breath in, exhale, tucking under. That's it, inhale. And Exhale back one more if you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale and exhale 
to come back. Let's bring those knees down. Well done. You're going to come up to a kneeling position. I want you to put your right leg forward. Okay, I want you to draw the tummy in nice and upright with the spine. Okay, and then in fact, I'm going to swap legs so you can see better. All right, so you can do it with your right leg. I'll do it here. Okay, so from here, we're going to put the hands on the knee and we're just going to gently come forward, getting a nice stretch and then back. So we're going to do this, uh, what we call an active stretch. We're going forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, good. Forward and back. Now we're going to go forward. We're going to hold it here. All right. And you're going to bring your left arm out in front of you. And then you're going to try and open out into a nice stretch. Okay. Looking towards that hand if you can. And then bring it back. You're going to open, stretching the chest, stretching the hip flexors. And come back. You can see you've got a balance as well. Open. Well done. And come back. Let's take the hands down. Tuck the toes under. Lift up into a nice little stretch there. Take the other leg back and swap over. Okay, so we're going to bring that knee down. We're going to come on up. Hands on the knee, and then we're going to gently go forward and back. And go forward and back. And stretch forward and back. Now you're going to go forward. Opposite arm to this leg is going to come out in front, and you're going to open out. So we're now really trying to get that rotation. Hope you can see that now in my spine. I'm rotating, looking back. And then coming back, good. You gotta really use your core here to balance as well, as you can see, open. Good, and come back. And one more, open. And come back, good. Let's bring those hands down, either side of the foot, tuck the toes under, lift up, take the weight into the hands, and take that foot back. Okay, so now we're in our plank position. Now you can stay here or you can pop the knees down, upper body work, a little tricep press up. So elbows going back, you're going to lower as far as you can and press up. Lower and up. Lower and up. Lower and up. Or four. Three. Two. One, well done, tuck the toes under, lifting up hips to the ceiling, into your up stretch. So we're trying to get that chest as close to the thighs as we can. We're lowering those heels down, stretching through the back of the legs. And then we're gonna walk those feet forward underneath the hands and then bend the knees and come and lie down on your mat. We're going to go into a little bit more of our traditional Pilates now. So lying down, let's have the hands down by our sides. Pelvic curl, so feet fairly close to the bottom. Taking a breath in, I want you to exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, tilt the pelvis and peel the hips up off the floor. So press down into your feet, but at the same time press up through the legs and the hips. Inhale there, and then exhale as you come back down. So deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold, and exhale to lower down. We'll do two more, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. And last one, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt and roll that spine up. 
Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. Let's take the hands out to the side. Let's lift the legs up into a tabletop position. So we have the knees and ankles together. All right, and we're going to take our knees over to the right hand side. Keep those knees together. You lower as far as you can without your left shoulder blade lifting. And then you exhale to come up. Other way, we're going to inhale over and exhale up. Inhale over and exhale up. Inhale over and up. Now I want you to go over and extend the top leg from the knee, lifting up and lower down. Other way, over, extend, lift up and lower down. Over, extend, lift up and lower down. Over, extend, lift up and lower down. And if you can, we're going to go over, extend both legs, lift up and lower down. Over, extend, lift up and lower down, good, over, extend, lift up, and lower down, last one, over, extend, lift up, and lower down, let's take those legs down, and now we're going to take the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, and support the weight of your head, okay, it's like you're cradling your head there, all right, we're going to lift the right leg up into a tabletop position. You're going to keep your spine nice and still. So we don't want any movement going on here. We're going to use our core to keep this part of the body completely still. So you're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale to lift up. And we're going to add a little rotation at the end and come back down. So we're going to lift, twist back and down keeping the legs still twist back and down lift twist back and down lift twist back and down and lift twist back and down take a breath in exhale let's switch the legs over here we go on this side, deep breath in, exhale, lift, twist, back and down, lift, twist, back and down, good, lift, twist, back and down, remember keeping nice and still in your spine, back and down, lift, twist, back and down one more time, lift, twist, back and down. I want you to bring the other leg up and let's reach our arms overhead. And make sure you're in a tabletop position to start. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale to lift the arms, head and chest. And if you want to, you can also extend the legs. The lower the legs go, the harder you're working across your lower abdominals and then you're going to bring everything back. So you decide what works for you. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Well done. Let's send the right leg in the air, the left leg forward, take the arms out to the side. So this leg, you can have this leg bent, especially if you're tight in the hamstrings. Otherwise, we'll have the leg straight with a nice flexed foot. And we're going to take the leg across the body. So it's going over to the left, down, out to the side and up. So big circles. I don't want you to worry so much about keeping still in the core today. I want you to really enjoy the movement. So really loosening up that hip joint, 
across, down and out, one more. Good, now let's reverse the direction. So we're gonna go out, down, across and up. Out, down, and just make that circle as big as feels okay for you. And around, good, two more. Around, and around, and up. Now take hold of the leg, point the toe, flex the foot. Point the toe, flex the foot. Point the toe and flex the foot. Point the toes and flex the foot. Point and flex and point and flex. It circle the ankle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, well done. Now point that toe, walk your hands up to your leg as high as your hands will go, lift your head and chest, take a breath in, and just draw that leg towards you. So you're really feeling that stretch down through the leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw the leg towards you. Inhale, release, and exhale, draw the leg towards you as you release we're gonna switch legs, come down, take the arms out and prepare for the circles on this side. So here we go, we're going to cross the body, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. One more, across, down, out and up, let's reverse it. Out, down, across and up. 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 One more. Good. Hold it there. And let's take hold of that leg. Let's point the toe and flex the foot. Point the toes and flex the foot. So trying to really get those feet moving, get the blood flowing down into the feet, and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. Let's circle the foot out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now point the toes, let's lift the head and chest and let's walk our hands up the leg. Take a breath in, exhale, draw that leg towards you. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw the leg towards you and release. Exhale, draw the leg towards you and then you're gonna release it, you're gonna take it down and we're gonna bring the legs together, okay? We're gonna try and do a roll up from here. So you're gonna take your body down, arms overhead, palms facing in. Now we're going to move the arms, the head and the chest and we're gonna stop here for a moment. I want you to be looking straight ahead at your feet. Now take a breath in, as you exhale, pull the tummy in and see if you can bring yourself up. Okay, we're coming up into a nice rounded spine, what we call a C curve in Pilates. Shoulders are down. Take a breath in. Exhale, so you pull the abdominals in. We're lying that spine down one vertebra at a time. Now, if anyone watching finds that impossible, that's fine. You can try bending the legs, so you can do an inhale. Exhale, you can take hold of the legs, bring yourself up and reach the arms out. And then inhale, exhale, going down. So you choose which option works for you and just keep moving. Don't worry about my cues. You just keep moving at your own pace. That's what the day is all about. All right, and if you're finding that you can't go down at all, you can exhale and you can just come halfway back. Inhale and exhale, come up. So Pilates is all about 
finding what works for your body, yeah? It's not about us all doing the same thing, it's about what's gonna work for you. All right, so keep going with your chosen movement. We're gonna do two more. Good, inhale. And exhale, last one, deep breath in. And exhale. Good, inhale up. And exhale, we're coming to a little C curve, and then we're going to lift up through the spine. So we're going to keep the legs together, bent or straight, whatever works. All right, we're going to take our arms out to the side, turn our palms up to the ceiling. And now we're going to try and keep that alignment, but just turn your body towards me. So you're trying to turn your upper body, your rib cage, and then come back to center. And then the other way, rotate as far as you can and center. So think of the movement coming here from your waist rather than the arms pulling you around. It's the muscles around your waist that we're really targeting. Now we're going to add two pulses. So we're going to go one, two, and back. 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 Well done. Let's bring the arms down. We're going to go into the rolling exercise. Always fun in the morning if you've got a stiff back, okay? So let's bring the feet and the knees together. Let's take the hands onto the ankles. And before you lift the feet, I want you to pull the tummy in and really round your lower back right down here, in case you can feel the weight moving back onto the pelvis, and then you can float the feet off the floor. So first thing we're gonna do is just find that little balance there. Okay, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Now start to pull the tummy in and keep pulling in until it tips you back. At which point you're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna exhale to come back up and try and stay up without putting the feet down. All right, so go off in your own time when you're ready. You can inhale back and exhale up. And make sure each movement comes from the tummy, not from you throwing your head back or pushing your shoulders back. It's all about the core. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale and exhale, coming up. Now, without putting the feet down, let's lift the legs into tabletop and place the hands underneath those knees. Now, imagine someone's holding your ankles. You're going to exhale and try and move away from your thighs. So you're really trying to control it. It's going to really target all those core muscles. Just coming down onto your waistband. And then you're going to inhale, bringing the head forward, and then trying to lift up and draw the shoulders back. So exhale, feeling everything rounding as you pull the tummy in, controlling the movement as you come down. And then we're going to come up and draw the shoulders back. Again, exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up. If anyone wants to try a little harder exercise, you just take the arms away. So you're having to hold your legs in position. And up, good. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, down. Inhale. Coming up, see if you can hold that position with your arms away, if you're able to extend those legs a little more and hold for three, two, one, and come down, well done. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to come up to a kneeling position now. All right, you're gonna mirror me, so you're gonna take this leg out to the side. 
We're going to lift up, we're going to check that this leg is right underneath the hip. And then we're going to take our arms out to the side. All right, so I want you to stretch towards the leg. Big stretch, taking the arm over, feel that stretch going up through your side. And then come back. And then you're going to go the other way. It's like you're tipping, but you're not going to touch the mat. Just fingertips maybe touch the mat and come up. All right, so we're going to do that again. We're going to go over and up and other way. And up, one more, over and up and over and up. Then from there, we're going to go back that way, place the hand down, take this leg in the air, take this hand behind the head. You're going to lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Four, four, three, two, one. Lift the leg up, lift the arm up, looking up towards that hand if you can. Well done. Now bring this arm down. I want you to turn around. So the leg is now behind you. Okay, so holding that position, you're gonna lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. So you're keeping your back nice and upright for four, three, two, one. Well done, hold it there. Now remove the opposite arm. So opposite arm to leg, holding it there for three, two, one. Well done. Come on down, turn back towards me. Let's go do that on the other side. So we've got our leg out to the side, lifting up. Good. So we're going to go towards the leg. Nice stretch. And then out. And then the other way, just touching the mat and back. It always feels different one side to the other. So don't worry, this is my stiffer side. So if you can tell, I can't move quite as far on this side. And then we're gonna go one more. Over and up and out and back. Now we're gonna take this hand down Take the weight into that hand, lift that leg up, take that hand behind the head, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Four, three, two, one. Lift the leg up, lift the arm up, looking up towards that hand. That's it. Good, now you're going to turn, keep that leg in the air, try and rotate around. Well done. Now let's just press down into the hands, lift that upper back. We're going to lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Four, three, two, one. Now leave that leg there, pull the tummy in and see if you can remove the opposite arm. That's it, extending out through the body and hold for three, two, one. Well done, bring that leg in. And we are going to finish as we started. So we're gonna tuck the toes under. We're gonna float the knees up and take them down. Float them up and take them down. So just off the mat, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. You're going to hold it there and then we're going to extend the legs, reaching back, lowering those heels, stretching out that body. Get a nice stretch in the body. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Let your head hang down. Taking a breath in, you're going to exhale now, pull the tummy in and unroll the spine all the way up. 
Inhale there. Exhale, coming down. Soften the knees if you need to, or you can keep them straight if you find you can now. Inhale. Exhale, coming up. Well done. One more deep breath in. And exhale, chin to the chest, coming down. Inhale, coming all the way up. Now let your shoulders draw back. Take a breath in, take your arms out to the side, reach up, look up, find that stretch in the shoulders. Bring your hands together at the top and then take them back out to the side and down and again inhale lift exhale lower and inhale lift and exhale to lower well done and that's your 30 minute session for today that was pilates for the poppy appeal thank you so much for joining me for the exercise if you want to stick around for the chat that's what we're going to do next otherwise if you need to go please press the like button and subscribe and i'll see you again soon thanks very much okay everyone let's pick up my poppy so i'm going to come and chat to you now i hope you enjoyed the session there today tried to give you a mix of everything and uh, as you can see, my husband, normally he uh, does the chat, but he's in a meeting today. So I'm going to go through the chat from the beginning. So please, if you have any questions, then pop them in the chat now. And I will go through from the top and make sure that I speak to everyone today. Obviously, today's a very special day. So if you have anyone that you want to do a shout out to, a member of the family, friends, anyone you'd like me to mention, then please do, okay? And again, if you can uh, donate, um, please, please do. Everything from today is going to the British Legion. So the donations that you give me on here, which normally go towards the upkeep of the studio um, and will keep me going, um, I'm going to give everything today to the Poppy Appeal, all right? So whichever way you want to donate, rest assured, it will go to the charity, the Royal British Legion, okay? Uh, right, so going to the top of the chat. So good morning to Yvonne Thorpe. Hello, Yvonne, lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for your donation this morning. And I'm gonna read this out for everybody. So Yvonne says, as a former Wren, uh, I would like to thank you for raising funds for the Royal British Legion. It does a fantastic job. Well, well done to you, Yvonne, for being a Wren. Really do appreciate everything you've done for us as well. So thank you very much for your donation. And I'm sure, yes, that I've heard so many good things about the British Legion. And uh, I think I put it in my uh, on the YouTube community page. Um, but I support them, I've always supported them because my granddad, who I was very close to, his uh, older brother, of two older brothers, they were in the First World War. Uh, one of them survived, but he had uh, what we would now call PTSD um, and had quite a difficult life after. And the younger of the two brothers, he was killed, my great uncle George. Um, if you want to see a photo, let me know and I can dig it out because I brought my memento box in today. Um, and I've always thought about them because my granddad always used to buy a poppy and put it against the photo of George in his house. And I always remember that. And then my dad told me all the story about it and why he did it. And then my dad passed that photo on to me. So I now do it every year. So um, yes, yeah, so that's my little story. But there we go. So um, thank you, Yvonne. Uh, Margaret Quinlan, thank you very much for your donation. Much appreciated. And to hello to Kathy Freeman. 
Uh, Kathy, welcome. Kathy says, just donated. Uh, my dad served in World War II. Looking forward to the session. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, give me your dad's name if you want to, Kathy. Uh, fabulous. Uh, Sarah, good morning, Sarah. Um, you were asking about Kofi. Hopefully you can see that there's a link. If you go to the top of the chat, everyone, you'll see that my husband uh, has put a link for the Kofi page. So Kofi is like uh, you buy me a, vi a virtual cup of coffee. So it's the equivalent of three UK pounds. Um, and again, today, those donations, we will top them up because they tell me what comes in each day. Um, they'll also go to the Royal British Legion. So you can donate any which way you want. I will make sure it all goes to them. Um, okay, so going down the chat, uh, Sissy Jackman, hello to you. Lovely to see you, Sissy. Sissy says, hello, all of you. I'm so pleased and happy to be able to join you today. I've had viruses all autumn, not much energy, but today I'm fit as a fiddle. Well, as I feel that way, I'll do my best. Sissy, I hope it worked okay for you. I would call that a, definitely a mixed ability session today. And I, I'm glad you're feeling better, Sissy. If it's any consolation, we've got some terrible colds going around the UK. I myself have been very ill. Um, not COVID, just the worst cold I've ever had. I'm still, as you can hear, still, my voice is still quite deep. <laughs> I'm still quite husky, uh, but I'm getting a lot better. So, Sissy, I'm really glad you're feeling better. And thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, good morning to Anne from London. And says, good morning, all from a grey and wet London. Oh, I'm sorry it's a grey day, Anne. I'm hoping that our session today brought you some sunshine. And Anne, you've made a very large donation. Thank you very, very much indeed. I really appreciate that. That's going to be fabulous for the charity. So thank you. Um, wonderful. So going down, um, Sissy says, uh, that will make me feel good and full of joy. We're having a fantastic day here. No wind full sunshine, and it's gorgeous outdoors. Happy weekend to all of you. Love from Sissy in Sweden. So as you can see, we are an international Pilates class. We have people from all over the world joining us, which is wonderful. And Sissy, thank you very much for your donation this morning. Much appreciated. That's absolutely wonderful. Cheryl Allen says, hi, everyone. Hope everyone's OK and not got this cold virus going around. Looking forward to today's session. Yes, Cheryl, that's what I had, that cold virus. And it really hangs around. I thought I was better a week later, as in this week. And I still don't feel well. I think it's uh, we've all been in, haven't we, for 20 months. So we haven't got our immunity uh, that we had before, I think. Uh, but anyway, Hope you're okay, Cheryl, and you enjoyed the session. Uh, Sarah, thank you for your donation, and thank you for your good wishes for me meeting the target. I will try and check what that target is before we finish today. I think we're at about, let's have a look, we're at about £320, so let's try and push on. I'm going to keep the donations open all the way through the weekend, because obviously Sunday in the UK is our Remembrance Sunday. Um, so I'll keep it going through there. So if you don't get around to donating today, donate tomorrow or donate Sunday, and that will still get to the charity, okay? Um, all right, so going down, Rona Stevens that's donated. Hello, Rona. Thank you very much for your donation today. Much appreciated. Alison Ellis. Alison, thank you for your donation as well. That's really kind and will really help. Carol Woolno says, donation done. Now looking forward to the exercise. Great. Carol, I hope you enjoyed the exercise. Let me know in the chat below, okay, because I'm working down the chat now. So you can start adding questions or anything that you want to do. Uh, Margaret Scott. Oh, this is interesting, everyone. So good morning, everyone. Also have my two dogs watching me do Pilates today. Aren't they joining in? I think they should join in, Margaret. Um, and Margaret says, my son-in-law, Anthony, is an officer in the RAF. 
Well, congratulations to Anthony and thank you, Anthony, for everything you do. And she goes on to say, Anthony did four months in Afghanistan in 2013, but thankfully not on the front line. Well, thank goodness. Uh, but thank, please thank your son-in-law, Margaret, for everything he's done. We do really appreciate it. Okay, so going down, Vivian Stacy says, good morning, Vivian. Uh, good morning, all. Greetings from Woking in Surrey. Looking forward to this session. I've had to miss the last few due to granny duties. Yes, I know. Granny duties, it's uh, hard work, isn't it? Uh, being a grandma, lots to do. But lovely to have you here, Vivian. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, and then, oh, and you're chatting with Margaret about Woking, because I can see Margaret said she lived there until the age of nine. So that's nice. You've made that connection. That's great. Uh, Alison Ellis says, at last uh, donation sent. As a former RAF nursing officer, thank you, Rachel, and your team, Kerwin and Boo. Oh, Alison, thank you so much. And I didn't know that you had been in the RAF. So thank you, RAF and a nurse. Um, amazing. You're amazing, Alison. Thank you. And I know that you've been one of my regular supporters from the very first time I did my live session. So it's lovely to see your name there. I feel like I know you, even though we've never met. So it's lovely to hear that news about you. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you for everything you've done for us, Alison. Uh, Sissy Jackman says, I've also donated money to the British Legion. I love England. So it's really important to me. Uh, so it's really important to me um, that we are Swedish. OK, because Sissy is Swedish but she's a big fan of the UK. And thank you very much for donating to the British Legion as well, Sissy. That is just wonderful. Thank you very much. Julie Hunt, good morning to you, Julie. Thank you for your donation this morning. I really hope you enjoyed the class. And going down the chat, Tanya Vanderporter, somebody I know very well, says, good morning. I'm really looking forward to this. Well, Tanya, I hope you enjoyed the class. Tanya is a, a lovely friend who some of you will know because she also helps me out uh, with my emails. Uh, she's in France. So uh, good. I hope you did the workout, Tanya. Let me know. Uh, Sissy Jackman says, I have the sweetest English Cocker Spaniel puppy, 12 weeks old. How lovely. You must send us a photo, Sissy. Uh, maybe she will be naughty. Well, let's hope she behaved herself during the class. Going down the chat, Margaret Scott has donated for us today. Thank you very much for your donations, Margaret. Carol Neath, good morning, Carol. Lovely to see your name come up. Great emoji, as always, has donated as well. Thank you very much. Janet Nolan has donated. Janet, that's a very generous donation. Thank you very much indeed. And she says, good morning, Rachel. It's good to be back. Um, great to have you back, Janet. Helen Lees, good morning, Helen, says, good morning all, looking forward to this workout and all for an excellent charity. Good luck for the target, Rachel, given on the Just Giving page. Thank you very much, Helen. That's really wonderful. Much appreciated. Leslie Matin, oh my goodness, I love your fabulous emoji today. That's wonderful. Thank you very much for your donation. That's very kind much appreciated and I know lots of you have already donated on my Just Giving page so I want to say if you've done it on there thank you very very much I can't do a direct thank you via the Just Giving page but I'm here and I want to say thank you so much for everything you're doing today if you can share with any friends and get them to donate even a pound it all makes a difference uh, to these people okay uh, and it's a small gesture really isn't it for all of us to show our thanks and gratitude so there we go Leslie that's a fabulous donation thank you and Leslie says well done for supporting the British Legion and thank you can't join you live it's about to go to my father's to look after him for the weekend but I will do the session later that's wonderful Mark Berman Thank you, Mark. Sorry to hear your, thank you for your donation. Sorry to hear the dog interrupted your session today, but definitely catch it later. Thanks very much. 
Susan Eisenbach has donated. Susan, thank you. Wonderful. And thank you for the a cup of coffee emoji. Much appreciated. That's what I'll be doing after this. Uh, Dee and Peter Court saying hello to you and saying thank you very much for your donation of six pounds today. Much appreciated. That's wonderful. Sarah Baldwin. Hello, Sarah. How are you doing? I have missed you too. Sarah says, ah, I've missed my Pilates so, so much. Week five of my recovery now. Sarah had to have a big operation, I know. So I'm really glad you're feeling better, Sarah. And says, I really hope I can start some next week. I've lots of new videos to catch up on. You do, Sarah. And make sure you take it easy because I know you like to work yourself really hard. And you've got to remember when you've had any kind of operation, we want to start off slow and steady. So I would recommend, Sarah, when you get going, just to start with the senior sessions, not because you're senior, because I know you're not. I know you're a young wee thing, but because they are gentle. And that's what you need when you're getting over a big operation. So gentle and slowly build up that strength and you'll feel it building over the week. So, so proud. You're doing so well. So carry on taking care of yourself, Sarah. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Margaret Scott says, wow, that was good. I even managed some rollbacks and up again several times. Not bad for a 66-year-old with arthritis. 30 minutes, 30 minutes went by quickly. Margaret, that is fantastic. And doesn't that go to show you're surprised, right, that you can do those roll-ups, but that's because, or the rollbacks, but that's because you've been doing it with me regularly for so long, you've got that consistency of exercise and it's that consistency that builds the strength in the body, but also builds the flexibility. And it's those two things combined that allow you to do that exercise. So well done, big applause for you because that's a major, major milestone, isn't it? So well done, onwards and upwards, Margaret. Fabulous. Josie Briggs. Hello, Josie. Has made a very generous donation. Thank you, Josie. Uh, that's really great. That's all going to the Legion. And I love your superwoman emoji. That's fabulous. Thank you, Josie. Sandy McClure. Sandy, thank you so much for your very generous donation today as well. That will be much appreciated by the Legion. And really glad, love your emoji too. Thank you to you. And uh, really glad you're able to join us today. Uh, Josie Briggs says, great session, challenging in places, but that's what we need. Thank you. Um, you are welcome, Josie. Alison Ellis says, after a week off in Germany with family, I really appreciated that workout. Oh, good. Glad you liked it. Uh, Martha Finlandson says, great session again, Rachel. Donation made. Many thanks. Well, thank you, Martha. Glad you enjoyed the session today. Susan Fishrick says, morning, Rachel. Really enjoyed your live session. In fact, I enjoy every session. I've donated as I think it's such a worthy cause. Thank you very much, Susan. This is wonderful, everyone. It's, it's just, it really fills my heart with joy when you realize there are so many lovely, good people in the world. So thank you to all of you, because this is this is wonderful. Julie Hunt says, thank you, Rachel, for a wonderful class. I've donated in the energy of world peace for all, for all that have lost their lives to war. May this be the last. Thank you very much, Julie, and thank you for your good wishes. And yes, indeed, let's hope so. Peace for everyone. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Cherry Marshall, so I'm just going down the chat, says, thank you so much, Rachel. Just donated to the British Legion. What a great thing you're doing. Well, thank you, Cherry. It's a great thing you're doing too. So well done. Uh, Not Bangalore says, I joined late, raining here in Virginia, but thanks for these classes. Not to worry, you know what? This class, every live that I do, goes on directly onto YouTube. So if you want to see all the lives we've done since the coronavirus pandemic, of which there are so many now, I've lost count, I've been doing them for uh, 20 months now, every Friday, except when I've been ill, I've been here. 
um, there's a live stream playlist and you'll see how much things have changed from the very first one. In fact, I got a lovely email uh, the other day from Sangeeta, who's a regular on my Friday, saying she'd gone back to the very first one I'd done and was amazed kind of how much we've done in that time together and how effective that very first one is, even though uh, we were in a, a different sort of studio. I didn't have a camera. I was just doing it through my laptop. Uh, I had blonde hair. It was a completely different life then, wasn't it? And then uh, here we are now, 20 months later, and all going very well. So super duper. Uh, Rachel, trying to send donation, but it won't go through, but I will try later. Um, not to worry. Thank you. I think that's Cheryl, isn't it? Uh, not to worry. That's fine. You send it when you can, Cheryl. It'll still go to the British Legion. Anne Butler says, dull morning, but brightened up by my Pilates. Donated on your Just Giving page, my grandfather's and father and uncles in both the wars on both sides. Wars hurt ordinary people. Good luck with the fundraising. Well, thank you so much, Anne. And that's a very poignant thing to say, actually, because, yeah, that is the truth of it, isn't it? War does hurt the ordinary people. Um, and how incredible that all your family on both sides, all the men in the family were in the wars. And I think that's how it was for a lot of people uh, in those days. I mean, my grandfather was just a bit too young for the First World War, but his two older brothers were in the war. Um, my grandfather wanted to be in the Second World War, but he couldn't because he was a milkman. And that's considered, uh, what do they call it? A reserved occupation. Oh, hello, Boo. My dog's just come in. Do you want to come say hello? Hang on a second. Don't go away. She's decided to dress up for the day. Let's see if we can get you up. Come on. There's a good girl. Come and sit here. Here's Boo, everybody. She's being very patriotic today, wearing her... Beauty and Jack, he's a good girl, aren't you? Oh, are you tired? Are you very tired? She's wearing her Union Jack uh, scarf for uh, raising funds. So she's helping me raise funds, everyone. So if you want to give a little money because Boo is wearing this for you, especially for today, you could uh, still donate, okay? All right, thank you. Can you give me a nice wash now? Thank you very much indeed. Okay. <laughs> Well done, Boo Boo. All right. So going on, Caroline Ford has donated. Thank you very much indeed, Caroline, for your very generous donation. That is much appreciated. And Not Bangalore, yay, your donation has come through. So thank you very much uh, to you in Virginia. Much appreciated. Lovely. Okay. So hang on a second, Boo. Um... Okay, Sarah saying really struggled on the workout, not so much with the roll down, but rolling back, even with bent knees, any tips? So the best thing I would say, um, Sarah, with the, uh, you're talking about the half rollbacks, yeah? With those, the best thing to do is to hold on to the knees. So let me put my doggy down. Do you want to go and sit in your chair? You go and sit in your chair. You sit there, good girl, you sit down, and then I can demonstrate. So, when you find those difficult, what you would do is hold on to the legs, take a breath in, breathe out, round that spine and come back, but don't let go of the legs. So when you go as far back as you can, holding on, take a breath in, breathe out, pull the tummy in, and come forward and up and I would recommend Sarah you keep doing it that way that will build up your core strength and then you'll find in a month two months three months four months you will start to feel that oh actually I think I can do this and you can take the hands away and then progress like that it's a very um one of those exercises that when it is very challenging it's often a mix between the strength in your uh, core muscles, but also the flexibility in your spine. And so the best thing is, as I was saying earlier to the other lady, it's that consistency, Margaret, wasn't it? It's that consistency. Margaret's been with me, I don't know, more than 
two years probably. Um, and it's that consistency, doing that exercise regularly that will eventually get you there. And one thing I always say with exercise and fitness well-being is please don't compare yourself to anybody else that you see on YouTube or any of your friends or anyone you might see in the gym or anything like that. The most important thing is you make it work for your body because we're all unique. We all have our own issues, uh, things that we have to deal with in our own bodies, stiffness or uh, conditions, whatever they may be. And everyone is different. So each body will react differently. Yes, we all have the same muscles, the same bones, all that kind of stuff. But we've all lived different lives. and we, Our bodies have gone through all sorts of different things. And that's why with Pilates, we, uh, me in particular, I want to encourage you to do it, but to do it not to compete with others, but to do it to be as healthy and fit as you can be with whatever your body is dealing with, okay? Because, we, you know, gone are the days where, you know, uh, I don't believe in all that kind of airbrushing and putting all these filters on and making yourself look perfect because the reality is no one is. And years and years ago, I was a professional dancer. I mean, it's going back a long time now. This is going back about 40 years, uh, 35 years. And it was a terribly, terribly hard profession because every interview is scrutinized and picked up on and criticized. That's the way that world worked. And it's no good for your well-being. And I think that's why now in later life, I'm really keen to sort of, you know, make sure that you don't feel that way that you do the best that you can with your body. And, you know, it's like we heard today, someone's managed to do their roll-ups and because of that, they're feeling great. That's what matters. That's really what matters. So uh, there we go. Anyway, enough of that, Sarah, but I hope that little tip helped. So uh, Caroline Ford says, good luck with the fundraising, Rachel. Both my parents served in, oops, both my parents served in World War II. My mother is a Wren and father as a professional muse uh, musician, even entertaining Queen Mary at Badminton House. Oh, my goodness. That's a great story, Caroline. Thank you very much for sharing that. Wonderful. Uh, Carol Neese says, thanks, Rachel. As always, a great session. A double thanks for supporting the Royal British Legion, Poppy Appeal, a very worthy charity. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Carol, for your donation. Uh, Sissy says, Rachel, I love the session. I felt I could cope with uh, my puppy. Uh, I could cope with my maha. Puppy was biting my hair and was very playful in a loving way. She's going to have to get used to me doing Pilates. Stay well, everyone. Well, thank you very much, Sissy. Uh, Stephanie Langton. Good morning, Stephanie Langton. Says, morning, 34 weeks of doing Pilates for me today. Congratulations, Stephanie. That's amazing. Love the variety of classes you do. Thank you from Berkshire. Broken sunshine here. Stephanie, hello and welcome. That's really, that's a milestone, isn't it? 34 weeks. I hope you're feeling really, really good. You should be very proud of yourself there, Stephanie. That is wonderful. Alison says, amazing session. I love how you put a twist to the regular exercises. I love having this 10 a.m. session to make me show up. We'll donate now. Thank you, Alison. Yes, it's a great way, isn't it, to think every Friday, 10 a.m., you know, you can be here. It's just half an hour and you just get your workout done and then you can get on with your day. So thank you, Alison, uh, for your donation and that lovely feedback. Sissy says, how do I send a photo of Maha? Sissy, you can email me a photo and I will put it on the YouTube page. So my email is rachellawrencepilates at gmail.com. You will find it also on the YouTube page. You can see a link to my email. So you can either put it there or you can post it to Facebook, um, whichever you want, and I'll put it on the YouTube community page, all right? If it's one of you and your puppy doing Pilates together, that would be fabulous. Kathy Freeman says, thanks for asking about my dad. 
Chris Freeman was his name. He was in the Manchester Regiment. He lost comrades from his unit. Used to say, pack up your troubles in your old kit bag, which helps a lot these days. Oh, that's so lovely. Well, in memory of your dad, Kathy, Chris Freeman, um, what a wonderful, wonderful uh, thing to hear. Uh, amazing that uh, he went through all of that, isn't it? When you think what people have been through. And that's a that's a well known song, isn't it? Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. Um, I remember that. My granddad used to sing that as well. So, um, thank you for giving me those details, Kathy. Uh, Alison, thank you for your donation. I can see it there. That's wonderful. Um, Vivian Stacy says I've donated too, but not sure where it's gone. Okay, Vivian, don't worry. If you donated on here on the YouTube chat, Vivian, it goes to YouTube and then it comes to me. So don't worry, I will see the donation and I just pass. I get a, at the end of the session, it tells me what donations have come in. I don't get from who they are. I just get a sort of a total. And then I'm going to put that total straight onto uh, the Royal British Legion fundraising page so we can get it up to the target. Um, thank you, Vivian, for your donation. Uh, Jennifer Coleman says, where has the little donation buy a coffee thing gone? Oh, is it not there? Um, there is a Kofi link further up the page, Jennifer, or you can press the dollar sign here on the chat and donate that way. Either way, it does get to me. So uh, let me see if I can find that for you. I think we're there. Let me see if I can find the Kofi. I know my husband. Here we go. Uh, let me see if I can copy and paste that and put it on the page. Oh, let's have a look. I'm not the most technical of people, as you can probably hear. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, there we go. Hang on, Pilates. Matt. Okay. It should be, it should be there now. Jennifer, I've just posted it. You can see just at the bottom of the chat there. So I hope that's okay for you. Um Margaret Scott says, only way I do the rollbacks and down was holding onto my knees. Yes, Rachel, I've been with you for almost two years. Well done, Margaret. So lovely to have you there. Cheryl Allen has donated. Thank you very much, Cheryl. That's wonderful. Stephanie Langton said, yes, I do feel good for doing Pilates daily. I have arthritis and it really helps. Thank you for your lovely comments. Oh, you're very welcome, Stephanie. And yeah, you know, with arthritis, what you're doing is exactly the right thing for the body. A bit of movement every day is the best thing for arthritis. And, you know, it used to be don't move at all. Now it's opposite. Anyone I speak to, uh, Age UK, you know, Arthritis UK, all those organizations, they all recommend the NHS, they all recommend regular movement. So well done, Stephanie, you're doing just the right thing. Um, okay, Jennifer, I put in your just above where your message is, the Kofi link. So you can you can go there. Or you can link below, or you can go back in uh, later and do your donation. Oh, Tiona's just come in. Tiona says, thank you, Rachel. Love your workouts and your good vibes. I've been following every Friday since you started well perhaps i've missed one or two sending you some sunshine from france thank you very very much okay everyone well before you go i've got one more thing to show you which i promised i would show you today um and i don't know if you can see let's see if i can hold it up to the screen but it's a little out of focus this this person here, this is my great uncle. And this was him. He had, he was playing a joke on someone. Maybe I'll hold it here. He was playing a joke on somebody, him and his friend here, because they're wearing Scottish uniforms, but they weren't in the Scots regiment. They were in the East Surrey regiment. And um, I got passed down through the family this, uh, which was given to everyone, I believe, who uh, died 
in the war and it's a memorial and uh, something that I'm going to get framed and put up on my wall with a photo of him uh, to remember him. So there we go. But thank you so much for today. Thank you, everyone, for your donations. Please, if you can, get friends, family to, to donate. Let's try and get to that target. I think we're getting closer to £400 now. So we want to get to 500 by the end of day Sunday. That's the plan. Thank you very much. Don't forget, we'll be back the same time next week. 10 a.m. on Friday for a brand new session and I will have a new upload for you coming out Sunday morning which is going to be a standing bar workout it's about 14 minutes long with a chair so it's kind of ballet inspired uh, leg workout um, with a chair so it should be quite fun so do check that one out if you can and I will see you same time next week. Oh, before I go, Amy has donated. Thank you, Amy. Thank you very much indeed. All right, everyone, look, have a wonderful day. Look after yourselves. Don't forget, it's Remembrance Day on Sunday. So if you can, remember two minutes silence at 11. And thank you for today. You've all been so wonderful. I will see you same time next week at 10 o'clock. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.